Yeah. All right, let's get right into it. Motivation. Uh, people always look for motivation outwardly. They're like, oh, how am I going to get myself to do this? Or how am I going to get myself to do that? And these things are going to let you know that motivation is indeed a choice. Doing things because you choose to do them, not because there's a deadline. Your, 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 your MO is coming from an inner drive, from your higher self. And you're operating in love, not fear. If you're experiencing procrastination, there's a solution. You can rely on yourself. You can rely on your internal motiv your motiv your internal motivation. And this can be learned. You can develop this skill. Your willpower is a muscle. And um, you can get it stronger and stronger every day the more you use it. Um, we talked about countering before, how you can counter negative things and replace those things with positive things and the next thing you know that's the way that you think that's how good habits are formed right um the <clears throat> and so sometimes we find we look we look externally we want we want to know what motivates us <clears throat> tiffany can you get to the next shot um slide tiffany okay okay so what motivates you um, six, so this pie, of course, is going to be what, 100%. So the blue tells us the contribution. I want to make a difference more than anything else. You, you know, that's true for me. I want to leave a footprint on this earth. I want to know that I was here and all the gifts that God gave me. When, I, when I'm no longer here, I want to be empty. Money, of course, because um, Georgia Power, you know, they, they think I'm sweet, but they would <laughs> like to have cash um, uh, for currency. Um, mastery, there's nothing better than getting those 10,000 hours in. Um, uh, they say it's about, what, two hours a day, or seven years, or 10 years, something around that. You get 10,000 hours in, and you're a master at whatever it is that you do. That gives self-confidence. <laughs> And a lot of people, including myself, um, I really enjoy being my own boss when I'm on, when I am my own boss. I love it. I, there's nothing better than being autonomous, where people, where you can do and you can say, "I'm worth this amount," you know, as opposed to someone telling you what you're worth. Um, can I have the next screen, Tippy? Okay personal skills, um, self-motivation and, pre um, and perseverance, working with a team and self-reflection. Okay, so we're going to start at the bottom um, under the first aspect. When, when you're incomplete, when, when, you, when you're just starting to build or if these are some skills that you may not have at the moment, you lack perseverance and motivation, you lack grit. Um, as you as you as you decide that hey, I, this is something that I want to do, you build on it a little bit more, and so and you start completing a project, but sometimes you still lack self motivation. You did it because it needed to be. You did it because uh, there was some kind of external pressure. It wasn't intrinsic. It was something. It was not something that was self motivated. And then once you reach that 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 self actualization that. In the, under the aspect of self-motivation, you know to approach the project with self-motivation and you follow it through to completion. That's that blissful area where when you're doing things and a lot of times it doesn't feel like work. Um, and we're going to go under the second aspect. When, when you're incomplete, when you're operating from a lower self, you make little or no attempt to collaborate in a group situation. Um, and then once you move up, and you learn a little bit. You exchange some views, but you require guidance to collaborate with others. And once you reach self-actualization, you collaborate and you communicate in a group situation and integrate the views of others. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that the goal is to be independent. No, the goal is to be interdependent. There is no single person that runs a team. Everyone needs a team. And in order for that to happen, you have to learn to be interdependent. That's the goal, not to be independent. I don't know who made that up. Um, and the, the third and final aspect that we're going to talk about is um, self-reflection, <clears throat> that self-awareness. 
when you haven't quite got there yet, you show no signs, you, you show no awareness of your own strengths and weaknesses and give no consideration to to their to your learning experiences. Everything is someone else's fault. You haven't learned to really accept responsibility for the things that happen. It, it, there's always some sort of, kind of some kind of external factor. It's, there's always room. I'm going to mute your car. And when you move up a level, um, when you're when you're when you're warming up to the idea of self-reflection, when you're will when you're at least willing to take a look at yourself, you show limited awareness of, of your own strengths and weaknesses and give some consideration to their learning experiences. So at least you're learning to share the blame. Like, oh well, I could have done this, but if so and so and so. Well, when you reach self actualization under the aspect of self-reflection, it shows a thorough awareness of your own strengths and weaknesses, and it gives thoughtful consideration to your learning experiences. That's why you can hear people genuinely say, you know, there was a lesson in this mess. There was a lesson, and a lot of times when people really, really get it, they're grateful for it because they know they'll never have to see it again. And if they do, they can conquer it easily because they've turned that experience into a lesson and they didn't take it, they didn't take, they didn't take it and use it as a time to point blame and to point at others and, and minimize their role in it. They take the time to actually learn and grow from whatever experience it may be. All right. So um, here's a, um, the active part of this. Try this. Choose, choose a task, any task, and do it just because you can, because you choose to. Whether it's at home, work, or for a hobby, and just do it. It sounds really simple in actuality because it is. And, here's, and that's how you build that willpower, that internal motivation muscle. You don't have to add anything extra. Just be intentional. Um, and sometimes our, our mind does like to play tricks and add outside influences. Focus on, this, focus on this exercise and share it with us next week in the chat. I'll share my experience in our chat as well. And by the way, self-actualization is key. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. We're going to let Jigga take so, over. 